Hey everyone, Technomentor here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer your eSIM from an old iPhone to the new iPhone 16. So if you got the new iPhone 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro, 16 Pro Max, in the U.S. market, as you know, there is no physical SIM card, so you need to transfer your eSIM card over to your new phone if you want to use the same service. So in order to do that, all you're going to do is go into your setting on your iPhone, the new one, iPhone 16 here. Uh, and then you're going to go ahead and tap on cellular. As you can see here, currently I have no cellular service on yet, but I have cellular service on this old iPhone. If I want to move the service over, simply tap on set up cellular. Now, once you set up cellular, there's two main ways to do it. One is where you can just transfer from nearby iPhone, which is going to be the easiest one to do. If I tap on that, it's going to make sure that, okay, your Bluetooth is on on both of the devices. So make sure the Bluetooth is on, which I'll show you and then it's running on iOS 16 or later. So if you have an older phone, make sure you're updated to at least iOS 16 or later. And then in order to begin the transfer, you just hit continue, and then it will basically transfer the service over here, the eSIM card that you have. So here, I won't be able to do that because I am not transferring my service, but you'll hit continue here, and it will do it for you. As I mentioned here, uh, on both of the phones, you're gonna pull down the control menu, make sure that the Bluetooth is on that icon that you see right here is turned on you can also do this from the settings so go into your settings let's go back right you want to ensure that bluetooth setting on both devices are turned on so it will use the bluetooth to move over the eSIM from the old phone to the new phone and you'll be set to go now there also is another option if you have a qr code that you can scan you can always scan that qr code option so if you're carrier or the company you had a phone service will provide you a QR code and then they'll email it to you and just scan that QR code and then it will automatically uh, configure your iPhone eSIM card and you should get service on your new iPhone 16. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.